I'm Andrew Stevenson and on today's video I'm going to show you as promised how to make a simple planner slash diary. We're going to be using data merge so you will need a file to merge with but I'll show you that later on. First things first we will set up the document. So it's going to be six by nine. It's going to be a black printed image so we don't need any of the colour options messing about with. The margins will be 0.375 for the gutter and 0.25 for everything else. And as we are using images that will go to the end of the screen, we're going to have to have a bleed. And this is it. This is the document. Whoops we'll be using. I'm not going to work in master pages at the minute. I'm just going to work from the document itself. So this is it. Left side, right side. We'll start straight away by adding the merge layout. It is a very simple way to do this so there's, there's not a lot of messing about. Adjust the layout how you see fit i'm going to be having four days there three days there with a note section at the bottom i'm just going to concentrate on this page for the minute though because i can copy and drag it drag everything over at the end so monday tuesday wednesday thursday is how this is going to go i will shrink that down though because i want a text box at the top I want a little bit of a gap between each of these blocks just so that when we add an image some of it will come through the bottom just make it more visible and we'll add the text box there so to add a couple of little embellishments to this section now I'm going to draw a triangle they're not really embellishments, they are just, I forgot to, you need to have the data merge highlighted or you need to drag, well I'll show you. So if I don't have the data merge highlighted, I draw a box it only stays in the box that I'm drawn because I'm not affecting the data merge layout. I'm actually just drawn directly onto the page. To make it appear in all of these, which is what you want, you either need to have the data merge selected when you draw the tool, when you draw the rectangle, or simply just drag it inside the data merge so it becomes a child of that. I'm also going to draw another box underneath and make that white. This is so that when we put the image on the background, it still actually leaves us a space to write. Otherwise the image would just be everything and you'd have a, a grey rectangle there. So that's the basic layout of the planner. Now we need to set up the data merge file. This is the one I'm using. As you can see, I've got files for 2023 and 22. I'll do a 2022 planner just because it's January and there is time. But this means that I can make next year's as well. These are the headings and I won't be using all of this information. It's just in case I want to make a different diary where I just use a short D rather than the, the full long name. The month only appears on the first instance of that month occurring, so the first day, or the 27th of December. And I want to insert these into there. And to do that, I need to point this document to the file I want to merge with. So go to Document, Data Merge Manager, add a file, that's mine. Now if I was to make any changes to this after I've loaded it into 
affinity just click update and it'll bring the changes again because i'm doing a 2022 planner i will select 2022 but it's just a simple case of picking an option from a drop box all this is fine apart from page range just two to three that means that the data from the excel file will be will be repeated over pages two and three until the data runs out if i used all pages it would also throw page one into the mix and every third page would be blank so now we've got the document pointing to the right area we need to insert the fields into the text boxes so do that we go to view studio fields and as you can see these headings are the same as the ones from the excel file so i'm in the right area it's just a case of getting these into there so with data merge layout selected i'll zoom in and i will create one text box there what i'm going to do is use the date day and month they're the only three bits of information i need so i do need three text boxes get it all aligned now pick your font pick your font size and then double click as you can see because i had data merge selected it's put it in each of the boxes so next one will be day i'll make it a bit bigger And I'll probably have that aligned to the left. And then month. You can mess about with this as much as you want, really. It's not a. There's nothing that you do here that will completely mess up your file. I will drag that along a little bit, though. Because the dear Wednesday is quite a long word. And that's that. So as you can see, it's copied into all of these four. Now all I need to do is copy all of this. Shift control. So select all shift control and drag it across. And that's your basic planner. I'll just do a quick merge and show you what it looks like so you're 26th monday of december sunday january there's a section for notes and it's it's a functional plain diary you will put a cover on this and you know providing your keywords and your cover were right you would you know that sell no doubt about it i'll just shut that down but I, what you really want to do is personalize it and niche it down so you attract an audience rather than just being incredibly broad you need to niche down and to do that we're going to add images behind the file uh, behind the data merge layout i'm going to use master for this i could do it in page two and three but i'm going to do it in master just in case i made a mistake and i'm going to add some images so i'm going to use uh, cat images because cats always a popular niche and because it's black ink i need to disregard all of these or recolor them but i'm happy just to use black ones I'm going to drag it down over the bleed. And because that's quite short, I could either just continue pulling it till it cover the entire double page spread, which is a perfectly fine option. Or if you want to add different images, you could just shift control and copy it here because it's seamless. 
it'll go straight in. And I'll add a different image here. Again, remember to go over the blade. There we go. So these images will be repeated all the way through the document, which is what you want. The problem it does create is that now this text box is obscured. So I will draw another rectangle here, another rectangle here. So the image is there. It is quite covered by the boxes here. The way to sort that out is just to bring the opacity down a bit. That's not too bad. You can make out the images and you've still got a lovely white space to write on. I'll do the same there. So I'm just bringing it down by 10%. And now I'll merge this again. This is the title page where I would I would draw a white box and write my header in there so it's like um, my my cat diary 2022 and then I'll change the font change the alignment whatever you fancy add more images of cats if you want if you don't want this image here because remember it's copied from the master page just go to apply master oops go to clear master and you can add whatever you want there and this is it a nice catty planner made in a matter of minutes the only thing for you left to do now is to add the text. What I will do is pull these text frames above the rectangle so they are visible. Now there might be a way, there probably is a way to do this bit through mail merge, but I've tried and it just doesn't work. It knocks everything off. If you work out how to do it, you know, obviously use the mail merge. I've tried the way which should work, um, and, it, and it didn't. But I will look into it again. It, it could just, it could have just been a one-off error. But it's no great hardship to write the months down in the year. Uh, it's better than writing out all of these every single day of the year down. And there you go, it goes straight through to December the 31st. Now we, you've got this far, again it's a perfectly fine planner, but you can add little bits to make it even better. So we will, let's go to, so this is the start of a month. What you could do is after the month start, then add another double, add two pages with no master at the minute. 
and on here you could have a February to-do list say or you could add a calendar um, shopping list your daily goal list it's just a simple case of pulling on text boxes and so I'll put Feb goals again you know mess about with the font add little embellishments to it you could even add another master page and add another cut image there's another black white one you could drag that over there I will just use this for the full double page spread and then apply there you go it just adds a little bit a bit of something interesting in the book you could add that every month obviously you'll need another another box there to write your goals down you could add as many different sections as you wanted and each different section could have a different master page so you're adding more images to that again it ties down your niche it adds more value by giving the the customer more pages and more things to do that is it for today's video please do like comment and subscribe now i've got a series of planners on kdp i've shown you them in previous videos they're a bit more complex but they use the same premise as this using different sections and planning out different spaces in which you can double down on the niche again it does work as a plain a plain planner um, without the embellishments but if you just take a little bit more time and put in a little bit more effort you, you know, get something that's infinitely better this is this will take you know five minutes if you're not explaining it and the beauty is you can change any of these images and you've got a completely different planner so I could export this as it is and then I could change these images to dogs and then that'll ripple through all of this export I've got a dog planner which I've made in you know less than a minute the time it takes to change two pictures The hardest part of all this was making the Excel file. I did this all by hand, worked it all out, did all this nonsense, laid it out. There is a way that Excel can do it quicker, but I was just working through it myself. Um, I needed it in a very specific layout, so I thought I'd you know, just do it by hand. The last Excel file I did put on Gumtree for, sorry, Gumroad for free I might do the same for this um I might charge a cheeky pound maybe because it did take a long time um but it's still value for money the other options of course you know do it yourself it's quite easy it just takes time so that's it for today's video please like comment and subscribe uh, for more of these videos and I shall see you again next time <laughs>